What's poppin' YouTube? I'm back with another video, and um, this video is basically gonna be just a cool little vlog. You know what I'm saying? Right now, it is currently snowing in Michigan, and we are honestly expecting around 12 to 15 inches of snow. You know what I mean? So, I don't know how that's gonna work. I don't got no type of boots to walk in. I got some um, some vans, though. You know? Got some Yeezy that I'll probably walk in the, um, the snow with. But other than that, I don't know. Um, so far, it is around... Let me see. It's 127 right now. And so far, I've ate two pieces of pizza. Played a game of Fortnite. And um, I brushed my teeth. I got in the shower. I, um, I'm starting to drink my protein shake. And come to find out, I ain't have enough milk. The milk that I do have... Froze in my refrigerator somehow. I don't I don't even know how that's possible. But yeah, I'm kind of I'm stuck. My roommate is in the shower right now. Um, me and him haven't really talked since that um, the day he brought my girlfriend flowers. It's been kind of awkward living with him low key. I don't know. Maybe one day he'll apologize or come clean. I don't know. Hopefully, because I can't I can't keep living like this. But um, yeah, I'm probably about to head to the gym in, in a few um, and get my day started, man. I'm about to get dressed and walk in this, this um, 12 to 15 inches of snow to the gym. It's probably like a 15 minute walk. Um, with the snow, it's probably gonna be like a 20 minute walk. And it's leg day, so that's not gonna be great at all. But um, yeah, I'm gonna hit y'all when I'm on the way to the gym. All right, y'all, I'm ready. Got my bag on, man. All I gotta do is put on my coat, my ski mask, and I'm headed to the gym. Hey, bro, you got, like, some time real quick to talk? You got it. What do you want to talk about, bro? I don't got time, man. I'm about to go to the gym, man. No, no, like, just real quick, bro. Like, like a couple, like, two, two, three minutes, bro. You got five minutes, Max. All right, bro. So, I've been thinking, you know, ever since you keep left and shit, it really, you know what I'm saying, made me think about it, like, that was really some messed up shit that I did, bro. So, you think? <laughs> hitting on my girl in front of me, bro, is... It's yeah, not normal. Bro, I don't. I don't know what's going through me, bro. You know, it's just. I don't know, bro. College has been stressing me out, set, so my head ain't been in the right place. But ever since she left, I got time to really think about it. But is that really a good enough excuse? College is stressing you out, so you gonna hit on my girl in front of me, give flowers and shit. Come you know, on, bro. I work every day, bro. You do work every day. I don't be having time to really just like really sit down and think, bro. But we fucking snowed in here for the past like two days, so. I really just been talking about my accent and shit. I ain't gonna lie, bro. That's my whole shit. And I ain't about to let, you know, like you said, we about to be here for the next five months here and shit. So, I ain't about to let no animosity like that. So, you basically, what, apologizing to me or something? <laughs> yeah. Nigga, it's been like three days, bro. It took you long enough. My bad, bro. I was, that, was, that was gonna be, I'm, I'm done tweaking, bro. I mean, it's, it's cool, man. When it hit, when it happened, I I didn't even know what to expect, bro. Cause yeah. like I was never expecting nothing like that from you out of anybody in the yeah. world. Like I've known <laughs> you since you know since like ninth grade, bro. I ain't gonna lie, thinking about it, bro. I ain't even, I don't even know why I did it, bro. It was damn near dumb. Like, did, have you known her? How long have you like known of her? Like, be know. real. <laughs> I can not even live in that long. Yeah, yeah. You definitely know me longer than her, though. Like, hundred percent. Uh yeah, bro. I'm 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 done with the with the games. With the with the bull, bro. That's that's so stupid. All right, man. I respect it, bro. I appreciate your your apology, man. Yeah. I don't want to have to go through none of that bull again, honestly. Cause we not nowhere here. Yeah. That was pretty stressful <laughs> for me, man. Me and you almost fight, bro. We ain't never even got into an argument. That's what bro. I'm saying, bro. We chill. You know what I'm that's why I thought about. I'm like, bro. I don't even need that. Like over, not a girl, but you feel me, like yeah. yeah. That's what's up. But. Uh, all right, though. That was it. You know what I'm saying? Go get you a good little lift in. Yeah. Go finish this homework before work. So. <sighs> All right, bro. I All right, appreciate bro. it, bro. Yep. For sure. 100% wasn't expecting that. I like it, though. Pretty cool. But no, nah, man, I'm about to um go ahead to the gym right now, get this workout done, and um I'm going to take y'all with me. I was not expecting that at all. But I'm looking happy he did that, bro, because waking up and seeing his face every single day and having that animosity, that anger towards him is like the worst thing in the world. Like knowing that you have to wake up every day at the same time to see the same face 
and just had that, that anger. It's not healthy, bro. It's 100% not healthy. And, like, the, the reason I, I kind of, like, forgave him, like, immediately is because gr grudges, holding grudges are overrated, bro. Like, sometimes it's, it's kind of just better just to just squash things right then and there. It going on about your life. Because uh, me, I'm not a negative person. I like positivity more than anything in the world, right? So when I have an opportunity to have a positive day, positive outcome, look on life, I take it immediately. You know what I'm saying? So I'd rather have it, me and my roommate, on good terms than bad terms. Because we got to see each other every day for the next five months. You know what I'm saying? So I don't know. I kind of just forgave him. I'm happy that he apologized. Um, he's going to eventually have to apologize to T because it was... I feel like it was more disrespectful towards her than anything, you know what I'm saying? But um, I'm going to uh, call T when I get done on my workout and let her know. I'm pretty sure she's going to be kind of excited um, to hear that he apologized. You know, he he, he, he did the right thing. Feel me? Look at this, man. Look at this. See, this is why. I'm moving to. <laughs> this is low key, kind of beautiful. I don't know. I kind of got like a, a love hate with the snow, man. Just look at that. Look at that beautifulness. See me and me. I'm a I'm a nature dude. I like I like to see nature. I like to see the leaves. I like to see the the earth the animals, man. This. This is what we like to see, man. Boy, I am tired, man. I just got back from the gym, bro, after killing my legs. And now I need to um I need to call my girl, man. Call TT. See how she's doing. Let her know that Miles apologized and that me and him are on back on good terms, man. Um and let her know that Miles owes her an apology himself. All right. Yo. Hello. Where you at? In the, uh, I'm at a motel. You're at a motel? Keep your voice down. What do you mean? I'm at, a, I'm at a motel. Why you say keep my voice down? I don't want nobody hearing you when they get mad or something. I don't know. Just Bro, people I, I have some news to tell you. What? When I was on when I was on my way to uh to go lift, and Miles had stopped me and apologized for being weird and shit. That's good. That's it. It's good, dude. <laughs> I mean, I'm sorry I don't have that much energy. I'm just kind of homeless right now. You said you was at a motel. Homeless living at a motel. I mean, for how long? I have no idea. I have no family anymore. It's like I'm gonna keep itching. <laughs> itching? <laughs> you itching, bro? What type of motel? A motel, bro? They still make those, nigga? It was only like sixty dollars a night. <laughs> Yeah. yeah. Pretty chill. I pay for like, pay for like three nights. Damn. You, you done bad, bro. All right, bro. You know when you... What? Go ahead. Nah, go ahead. You know when you're in somewhere like you're real nasty and like your whole body just start to itch for nori? Bro, it's a cockroach on your forehead. Oh, fly. Bye. <clears throat> that wasn't funny? Why? My bad. But no, no. no. I would just, um... I told Miles that, he, that uh, he owed you an apology, too. So, I might call you back later or tomorrow or something. Because he at work right now, so... Um... Alright. That's cool. If, bro, if you want me to buy you a ticket, I will. Just come back home. Pretty chill. I know you miss me.
Why is you look, bro? <laughs> Why are you looking around, man? Because there's people walking around. So that's enough. You're not gonna come back. I don't know yet. I'm, I'm still trying to figure everything out. Bro, you would rather be homeless I'm, than live with me. Still, at the end of the day, bro, you still was wrong with the girl, whatever you was doing. Bro, that was a week ago. You ain't got nowhere to live. <laughs> you think I have enough money to get an Uber to the airport? I got you, bro. I'm broke too, but I'm I'm willing. I mean, hey man. We're gonna figure it out, but um, I'm waiting for this person to get out the bathroom, so I'm just. You ain't got a bathroom in your in your in your building, thingy? No, it's it's like a community bathroom, but I will um, I'll hit you later. Be safe, bro. I will. All right. She would rather be homeless than live with me. That's just something I can't wrap my mind around. I I literally offer her a ticket, a whole ticket, and she said no. So I don't even know what to do with that information.